Dr. Dan in bracket. Right. The tiny, the tiniest Dan I've ever seen in my life. All right, so it's just gonna be me for the time being. Hopefully Bobby puts the people's names. Yeah, so it is no fluxes, okay. According to Webs, he is a Ganon player, so it'll be a Ganon versus Ice Climbers, which is, uh, I'm not sure what the actual matchup's considered now, but I think traditionally it's considered uh, in Ganon's favor just because he can separate them super easy. Uh, I think the match was probably 50-50. Just, Ice Climber probably has the easiest grab uh, combos on Ganon. And the edge guarding must be pretty simple as well. But Gannon has that reach and the separation. We'll have to see how this goes now. Then again, I've not seen no fluxes play, and Fluid's pretty solid. Let's see how it goes. Bobby, thank you for getting some different pops in the vending machine. Last time you had the, like, the blandest selection ever, it was like Coke, Pepsi. <laughs> it's like, who has both Coke and Pepsi as a selection? They're not actually different, they're pretty much the same. Anyways, so I like that uh, No Flux is staying on the platform. Very solid strategy against Ice Climbers. But uh, Fluid traversed it pretty well, and now he has an edge guard coming up. Oh, he thought he was going to on the platform here. Some separation happening. I don't like that dash attack. I don't like that dash attack even more. But uh, he managed to get out of the chain grab. Fluid kind of messed it up here. I guess he could have just wobbled. I know he can. Good stop. Ah, wrong decision. He's going to get grabbed here. Mana freaks out, but he gets a nice back air meaty. Down air. Oh, man, Fluid's uh, messing up all his grab stuff so far. Let's see if no fluxes can make him uh, make him pay here. Up smash. I don't know. Should keep up the pressure. Shouldn't really roll back like that, I think. Oh, he got caught. Barely. But um, really, uh, any hits are going to do a lot of work here. Mana's going to die. And then he's going to get a uh, little one-on-one -on -one here against Popo. Oh! Jumped over the uh, grab there. All right, he evens it up. Let's see if he sticks to his strategy of staying on platforms. Looks like it. Okay, so maybe he's not unfamiliar with the matchup here. I like what, he, what I'm saying here. Nice. He's done a couple of uh, suspect... Suspect um, moves on the ground like dash attack and forward smash. And uh, he's paying for it hard here. Fun little chain grab there from Fluid. Pretty sure that's uh, smashed the eyeball by the Ganon. But um, I think he's going to lose the stock here. Oh man, Fluid overshoots. Let's see if he can do some more uh, percent here, get some gravy. Oh, back here. I feel like uh, Noflexus has a general idea of how to do the matchup, but his like, reactions out of shield are pretty bad. Oh man. Good. That's not going to be the stock just yet. Very good spacing. No Flux is playing very safe. Ooh! <laughs> he predicted the jump or just went for it. Shield poke. You gotta be really careful about waiting in your shield for a Ganon move. It is very susceptible to getting uh, shield poke. Very even match here. I think uh, Noflux is doing a good job of taking advantage of the matchup. I really don't like those dash attacks. But um, it worked out that time. Nice forward tilt. So he's not going to get punished too hard here unless he gets grabbed again. Oh, uh, mash out. Okay, he's okay. He's going to get ledge. Ooh, good. Oh, but he should make it to the platform. Good. He keeps getting grabbed, but he's knocking Nano away at the right time. Not good. Oh, what was that? Was that, was that Nana? Ah, there goes Nana. So this time he's down a little bit more. But um, just these slight hits from Ganon 
will do a lot of work. I think Flute should do a lot more of the jab than it's a smash attack. Uh, a little shield pressure that, uh, like, for example, Trail does a lot. Said he's trying to be a little too safe with that, I think. But here comes an Edgeguard opportunity. A whiff by No Fluxes. Let's see if Fluid can build some percent. He's not going to get here with the double jump. Nope. He thought he could. Uh, he didn't believe it, so now he's good. Once again, we're even. The same thing has happened every time on No Fluxes, getting an early Nana kill. But, um, nice. She's dead if he can keep away. Now he's going to save her. And he tried to attack the invincible Nana. Kills the Nana. So let's see what uh, Fluid can do here. Facing a pretty rough matchup. But let's see if he can just outclass. No fluxes. Oh, that smash. That DI was not good. Ooh, good little fade back from no fluxes there. Ooh, cross up, down smash. The grab. Oh my goodness. This is so dangerous. Gets the back air. Scary. The Fluxus needs a, a forward smash here. There's one. Or I meant forward air, but he got it. Oh my god, he challenged it. And uh, no Fluxus nods as if that was all part of the plan, which I guess it was, so good shit. Hmm, okay. So, FT will get banned, and we're going to go to Dreamland. Maybe? No, Fountain. So, no Fluxus should be able to do pretty much the same strategy here. He has a bit less room to work with, and when the platforms go down, it's going to be a little awkward for Ganon. But, um, he's going to try to employ the same strategy. Like, this platform right here is not super friendly for Ganon. Although, he will be able to down air through there and hit the Ice Climbers. That's it. Oh, that was, that was really weird. Alright, here goes the edge guard from No Fluxes. Good. Nice Titman. So I was watching a stream. I forgot what tournament it was. It was really recent, like within a couple weeks. And uh, Ganon did the up air edge guard. And a commentator called it the Titman. And someone said something about Midwest. And I just need to correct that. Titman was a Florida Ganon. They were probably mixing him up with Eddie. It just, like, really annoyed me. Even though I'm not from Florida. It's just like, you gotta know your history, man. But uh, another Nana kill. Blue's really struggling with this matchup. I thought he would be able to sort of outspeed No Fluxes here and just outplay him generally, but he's really just struggled with keeping his character in a safe position. He just kept getting hit by stray hits from Ganon. Alright, nice little punish there. Dash attack. Ooh, he almost got hit by that backer. That would have been a sock. Okay. Here comes the edge guard. Down B. We'll make it back onto actual stage. Wrong move there for the choice. But, uh. Ooh, okay. But he's still not dead. He'll actually make it back to stage again. But this time, Fluid remains and gets the forward smash kill. He's going to be hard-pressed to live here while doing some stuff. And he actually died. Wow. Okay, so no Fluxes will escape to the platform as usual. But takes 40 on a nice read. Oh my god, his stock is actually gone. Extended edge guard here. He should have tried a sweet spot a bit better. Fluid had, like, no intention of going onto the, plat the actual ledge. But, um, I mean, he can separate them and get kill early kill on Nana like he's been doing if he wants to make a comeback here. Ooh, good runaway from Fluid. Here comes the chain grab. Pretty sure this is Smash the Eyeball. And he gets up. Pretty grim for no fluxes here. But he's gonna get a kill on mana, I think. Yeah. Fluid won't bother uh, saving her. That won't kill. Good. Good little wave from Fluid there, and he gets a nice two stack. 
Um, it was almost looking like he might have lost this game too, but he pulled it out. So, Fluid has to ban Yoshi's. I think this is where Ice Commerce kind of wins the counter pick war. Because Ganon has to choose from FD and Dreamland. Dreamland's not that bad. He'll definitely live forever against Ice Climbers. So I think that's probably where this is going to go. I think the platform, the, the top platform is too strong against Ice Climbers to pick Stadium Man. Here we go. Yeah, Flu's getting, been getting a lot of reads on the platforms. Uh, no Flux has to be a bit more, uh, I guess, unpredictable of what he's doing on the platform. Oh, he escapes again. Not sure why Fluid's not, like, uh, wobbling or anything. I know he can do it. That was weird. Okay. Well, they both uh, reset the neutral here. Oh, gets grabbed. Fluid a little late there with the down smash. Facing for no fluxes, really trying to keep this ice climbers out. Oh, gets up air. He's gonna reach with his double jump. Did not wait enough, and he actually died. Yeah, that's uh, this is game three. So Nana will die, and Flux will have to live without her for a little bit here. Let's see how much percent he can get. Oh, it just gets. Oh, he's gonna get fared here. Yep. Good timing from no fluxes. Evens it up once again. This has been a pretty close set all around. Um, oh, he's staying. On, he's starting right off on the ground here. I, I don't know if that's a good decision. He's been getting grabbed a lot. Ooh, it takes 41. All right, gets a fair. Here comes the separation. No, he doesn't push it. He's gonna remain on the platform here. Okay, so now uh, Flu's been doing a lot of the jab into grab pressure. Oh, it's a stock. He's up one. I think uh, no flux has just been. Doing the same thing a bit too much here, and Fluid stops sort of like following for the floaty Ganon double jump stuff. But, uh. That's good. Forward smash won't kill. It's actually one stage that would have happened like that. Gets the up air. Uh, I think Fluid will be able to actually air dodge onto the stage, but he asks for the forward B and gets killed. And we're even it up again. Go on the platforms, yes, please. Oh, good timing on that fair there. Oh, I don't like that. Good. I like the air dodge on the platform there. Just get out of the ice climber's way. He really is taking advantage of the platforms. Triple up air. Dash attack on Nana, I'm not too sure about. I like the choice there of attacking Popo, but uh, Fluid kind of saw through that. Nana gets hit. He up airs Nana and sort of saves her. Good thing he got the, the grab there. Otherwise, that could have been pretty grim. Good. He hasn't done a lot of those jabs. Blue's been kind of uh, always wave dashing out of the fares on the shield and trying to counter the pressure. So the little jab afterwards is very nice. Ooh, really fast up air. Is he dead? Oh, he is. Wow, okay. And no flux has pretty much just had a monster stock right here. All right, he's trying to get some free percent on a aggressive ice climbers. Oh, that down smash is brutal. There we go. He got a snap. Pretty close. Gets another one. These percents, he's just going to take them. He'll take them every time. He's, he's playing this last stock lane. And that's what I like to see. Oof. Oh. Some of these times, he's actually gotten a good bait with the double jump. And then he's uh, just chosen the wrong aerial as a punish. I'm not sure if he's just not reacting or he you know, already knows what aerial he wants to do, but... He definitely should be able to react with the proper Ganon area on some of these punishes, but he's winning. He kills Nana. Brutal for Fluid here. That backer will do it, actually, if he goes in edge guards. Yep. So it's not impossible, uh, but that up air certainly does not help. Good timing on the fair, and that's going to do it. Good job, no fluxes. Removes Fluid from the winner's racket, and he will proceed. I'm pretty sure that was winner's racket. Actually, not too sure now. Bobby, was that winner's racket?